welcome students. In this video, we will try to complete our practical number 8A, that is working with data controls. What is expected in this particular practical is creating a web application to demonstrate various uses and properties of SQL data source. What we will try to do in this practical, we will try to accept the values from the user and further those values we will be interested in adding it as a record inside our employee table. Ek chota tha kaam karenge, user ke paas se employee ID lenge, employee name lenge, employee salary lenge. When a user clicks on a button, the code will be going to add the values as a new record inside what your employee table. So let's consider how we can do it. So I'm interested in creating the new project over here. Already one project is running. Fine, I'm closing this solution. And interested in creating the new project. This is our practical number 8A. So I give a name of the project as practical 8A. Further given, I click on create. An empty web application has been created. And now I'm adding a new web form by giving the right click over here. Selecting the option as add, selecting the option as web form. A web form one is added by me. Uh, I need to accept the employee ID, employee name and employee salary. So I'm taking one label for employee ID in front of that, one text box for the employee ID. Then I'm planning to provide again one label for the employee's name in front of that text box, which will be accepting the employee name. Again, one label for the employee's salary. Again, a text box over here as employee's salary. And then I'm interested in adding one button. So when a user clicks on a button, the values which are accepted from the user in these text boxes must be added as a new record inside a table. Now you can implement the validations also to understand validation. You can see <coughs> the validation series which is created by me. So validation series up Kumilega just in a practical um, number. Yeah, practical number 4A. So you will find there are some three or four videos that I created where I'd explain about all these kind of validations. So please watch those kind of videos for implementing the validations. Now let it be. I am interested in just keeping the form without the validation because I would like to check whether record is getting added properly or not. So this text has been provided as employee ID. Uh, next label text add provided as employee name. The next label text add provided as employee salary. Uh, in front of that, this is text box one, text box two, text box three. And for the button, I am planning to give the text as add. And below the button, I would like to add up a label, uh, which will be displaying the record is added successfully and this label ID is label 4. Now, to connect to the database, I am interested in using our SQL data source as we are using SQL database. So, I am selecting SQL data source and configuring the data source. First, I set up the connection string. In the new connection, I had mentioned over here server name at backslash dot backslash sql express further the database name i had added as bscit tested the connection it is successful so given a click on ok further i given a click on ok and saving this connection string inside a web.config file i need to take a table of employees so i take an employee table do not forget to go to advance and select the option called as generate insert update delete statement if this option is also been great to you, it means you don't have a primary key inside your table. So please see to it that when you create a table, please add up the primary key property. Fine. After doing that, I just given a click on finish. Now I'm interested in writing the code for the button add. This label for displaying the message, I will just check up the name of the label, label 4, right? So in the add button, I'm interested in writing the code for the click event of add button. Our SQL data source name is SQL data source 1. So I'm writing SQL data source 1 dot. Then here I'm providing my insert parameter. Insert parameter. So SQL data source 1 dot insert parameter in the bracket I'm providing the column name. You know that the column name over here 
which is been created by us that is eid e name and e salary so i am taking the same column name over here as eid equal to then i am going to provide sorry i will be first of all providing over here default value and equal to our text box one dot text moving ahead again i am providing sql data source i will just hide this one so you can get a better look so sql data source one dot insert parameters in the square bracket the column name that is the name dot default value equal to text box two dot text and again i am providing sql data source one dot insert parameter in the column i am providing e salary i think so this is the same column called as e salary right e salary is my column name dot default value equal to text box three dot text and uh, values have been passed now i would like to complete my insertion code so here i am just writing a simple statement as sql data source one dot insert so this should be adding the record a new record and label four should display the message so i am writing label four dot text equal to the record is added successfully I would like to clear my text boxes, so I'm writing text box one dot text equal to blank. Again, I'm writing text box two dot text equal to blank. Again, I'm writing text box three dot text equal to blank. Fine. The task has been completed. I just run the program, and let's see. Really, the uh, records are getting added by using this SQL data source or not. So I'm using some few properties of SQL data source for adding the record. That is what been expected in this particular practical. So I need to now provide the employee ID. So I will try to provide the employee ID as nine eight seven four. Employee name I had been providing over here as testing, or maybe I just provide the employee name over here as uh, what is your name, Namita? Okay, nine eight seven, and then providing Namita and employee salary. I had given some salary, and further I had given a click on add. Now it shows me record is added successfully. Let's check uh, really the record is added properly or not. Namita the record is there or not. So I just select the top hundred rows and let's check the rest. Right, the value which has been selected by us is been added successfully inside your table. So students, be tuned with us for the next videos of practical. Uh, add on to it, we are also going to conduct our YouTube live where I will be interested in solving your doubts. And the theory paper material is also been given by us so that you can score better marks in theory. Thanks a lot, students. Subscribe the channel.